Welcome back to Enigma Garage, everybody. Here we are. Got the empty motor in the car. Got it bolted up. Fits nice and snug, and we have the transmission in place. But before we get into that, I got a few presents in the mail. So, just a couple shout outs here. One to Fabbot, got me a nice engine lift plate. And the next one is from Steven at ls1rx8.com. Got this awesome looking trigger wheel. So I don't have to fab anything up. Great quality, would highly recommend it. And I've got everything downstairs for the transmission build. Getting ready to start that endeavor soon. And for the transmission, I got a few pieces in the mail. Alto Red Wide 2-4 Hold Band. The Wide Sun Gear Bushing. Another Torrington Bearing. And the Upgraded Smart Shell. Or the Beast Sun Shell. A lot better than factory so I don't destroy that. And then down here, we got the Corvette servo for number two. Got a whole rebuild kit here. This is a 700 horsepower kit, I believe. At least that's what a couple people say they're getting, they're holding with. And for a $50 transmission, I'm willing to take that risk on a $250 rebuild kit. So I should have everything there. Any of my parts are broken. I'll just swap them from all the leftover parts I got and over here that is going to be the transmission brace I've already started prepping some of it getting it ready this channel right here is gonna go up on the frame rail sides that'll go across and then this piece is gonna get welded up up here with these braces on it so I got lots of room for adjustment to bolt up the transmission. And I'll take you under the car to show you what that looks like. Here we are under the car. Got an energy transmission mount here. I cut that off. I think I'm gonna center it up on this bolt hole right here. Going across. I'll put the brace right there. And I'm gonna leave the height a little bit low in case I gotta bring it down or adjust it. I've already taken out the drive shaft so I can see the where I need to aim it up to. And I'll take it back up front. I'll show you that. Alright, so back up front here. You see right there at the very end. It's aimed straight at it. So I want to definitely leave some adjustment in case I gotta bring the rear end up or down or the transmission up or down. So I'm gonna make sure I can put shims and have long enough bolts everywhere. I get every bit of adjustment I can. Maybe I'll get a shake and I need to put some angle on it. We'll go from there and see where it happens. First thing I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna get these corner pieces tacked on, not welded, tacked on. I gotta get my welder all set back up. It's back here in the corner. Had to clean around the garage. Get everything ready to go. Oh yeah, and I have a few uh, other things over here. Got my Mishimoto fan assemblies and radiator. And got my condenser already on the front. And there's the big three inch intercooler. It's gonna go on the front of this thing. Got the factory harness out. I'll start working that soon. Probably gonna use one of these as an oil cooler and the other one is a trans cooler on the front. Keep those factory. And once the transmission everything's in, I can take the yokes off and get a drive shaft made. Let's get to welding.
there we are, tacked up. Got that one tacked up. I just want to see where it's going to lay at. And the very beginning of the video, I made those two tacks and I realized I didn't have it oriented the right way. So I had to break it off, re-tack it on, no big deal. Let's take it under the car. All right, here we are under the car. That's lined up right there with the hole. Right over here is lined up, but it's just a hair too long. So I gotta have to grind off about a 16th inch off each side. But this, spin around real quick. Or not. All right. It's a little hard doing this by myself. So I got that lined up. Let's line this side up right there. And that side up the hole. And there's the mount. Right there. It's gonna be perfect. So it's be height after that. And for right here, if I gotta do anything for the exhaust, I'll just make a little hoop for the exhaust to go around it and through it. So let's grind this off and get back to it. Well, I got it fitting in the car how I want. Got one side all welded up. Got the brace here. It's actually going to hold the transmission. I tacked all that into place. I tacked that one. I need to go ahead and weld it solid now. And get ready to put it in the car. Here she is. That one, I kind of dipped the tungsten. Saw me go break a piece off. Yep, that sucked, but that one's not too pretty over there either. Still working on it. Can't get corners that well. A little bit more practice, but she's ready for some holes in the sides and to go in the car. All right, here we are on Sunday and been to the store. So I picked up the nuts and the bolts that I want to use. I'm going to put those right there at the edge. I haven't welded anything yet. I got to drill the holes. I got to mark everything. That's what I'm going to do with that. And on the outside, to space it up so it's not hanging from underneath the car, I'll do that and I'll mark it from there and drill those holes. And then I have this tube right here that I'm gonna to cut the to length of the width of the actual rail to keep from crushing the frame rail from inside. So, let's get to it. There we are. Holes are there. Getting everything centered up. Right on the inside of the rail so I can put the bolt through the outside to the inside of the rail. I won't have to hold a nut or anything. I'm just gonna tack those into place. Other side's ready to go. And I already got the pallet holes on the other one. I'm letting the drill battery charge. While it's charging, I'm gonna go ahead and tack these in place. These are gonna be the anti-crush plates. I'll get those all welded in place. And over here, it's cooling down. I 
We've got these ready to go. Almost done. We're gonna jump to end the car. We've got it right where I want it to be, right on this edge right here with that bowl hole. And same thing on this side, right on the edge lined up with that. So what I've done is mark inside of both of those and then I marked the center, came to the outside and held the plate on, marked those holes on both sides. So I can pull this down and start drilling those holes. And while I'm waiting on the battery charge, I'll work on the crush plates up there. The battery's been taking a few, so I went ahead and welded up these anti-crush plates. I just have to drill out the holes in the frame and bolt up the cross member. All right, guys, I just pulled it out of the car. I should have taken a video, my bad. That's where the bolt head was. I traced around it. It's not exactly centered, but it'll do. So I'll drill that out and that's the last, last hole we need for that cross member. Motor's about to come back out with that transmission. This will go back over to Cam's house. This is his 5.3. He let me borrow it. Thanks, Cam. Fabbot lift plate. First time I'm going to use it to pull this out. Then I'm going to finish drilling all these brackets off right here for some clearance. And then it's time to start building this bad boy over here. The transmission. And I was gonna fab up some brackets, but this thing's taken a lot longer to fabricate everything than I thought, and I'm kinda in a rush, so I might just buy Steven's brackets. So check out his site, guys, ls1rx8.com. Great quality stuff, and I figure I'd give you guys a good shot of what it actually looks like outside of the car and how this works. So that's how it interlocks into the frame rail through the holes that I made. And I'll go down here and show you the holes too. Almost caught myself going through that one. Luckily, that was only the plastic seal and fuel line. But there she is. And that's how I traced out the hole. That goes right there. And I've already got it. Not too loose, just right. There we go. I'm gonna wrap up this video and the next video will probably be me working on the transmission. So catch me next time. I just gotta throw this in there. This engine lift plate is like the perfect freaking angle. Right in the middle. It's got like the perfect removal and installation angle. This plate is freaking awesome. That bot. Good one, guys. It's a lot better than a chain. That's for sure. <laughs>